Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to install regular house uh, receptacle. Uh, one of the first things you want to do when taking on any electrical task um, is to shut off the power. It's extremely important that you ensure that the power to the area that you're working with, the wires that you're working with, it's completely it's off so that you are able to work safely comfortably and securely as well all right so that's the first thing you do um, secondly I'm in Trinidad and Tobago and the, the, the electrical code color code is somewhat different to where your jurisdiction uh, to where you are and what your jurisdiction might have um, as its laws now, is the electrical code. Now, here in Trinidad and Tobago, the hot wire, which is usually black or red, it's brown. The hot wire is brown. The common wire or neutral wire is blue. And, of course, the ground is green, completely green, or green and yellow is acceptable. It's also noteworthy that um, to mention that usually in other jurisdictions as well, the ground conductor is without insulation. All right, what they have done here in Trinidad and Tobago and in, 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 in a few other uh, places, you have to get sleeving, yellow and green sleeving, or you use electrical tape. You just place that sleeving right up there on that um, that ground insulation and they're all insulated. So what we want to do today is install this. Now there are two terminals on each side of the plug and there's a green screw. Of course the green screw is for the ground or earth wire. The silver screws, the screws that are colored silver are for the neutral wire, the common wire and the gold color or brass colored screws are for the hot wire all right so this is how you install uh, your receptacle plug receptacle what i do is i take off about an inch and a quarter of insulation from the wiring i place it on the side closest to my closest to me and then i wrap I turn in an anti-clockwise direction to make a loop and then we tighten uh, the screw and secure it to the terminal it doesn't matter which which to which screw you put it on to because it's the same uh, neutral terminal all right common terminal uh, same thing applies here in hot wiring as well on the gold side I put the wiring closest to me and then I loop it around I'll just just loose this here a little bit more. Yeah. I loop it around the gold screw and I tighten and I secure it well. All right. The last one I put on is this one here, the root wire, the ground wire. Same process. It's looped around the green screw. All right, it's looped around the green screw and it's tightened and fastened here as well. Right. And then what I do is, now there, 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 there are two slots at the front of the receptacle. The longer of the two is the neutral or common uh, slot where the common wire is connected to and the shorter of the two is the hot wire. And of course, this one here, I like to call it the, the oh my God face, is the ground port, um, all right? So what I do is, I usually put the, the shorter slot, the hot one, on top. I fold the wires in into the two by four box. I place my hand there. I have to use longer screws because the box is buried into the wall. So, I, so th th that's the reason why you see much longer screws. All right, 
Now, if you're using any screw, make sure that the tip is blunt. Uh, reasons being that you don't want your screw to pound here any one of the conductors while you're installing it. All right, so make sure if you're replacing the screws, make sure that the tip is blunt. All right, you put it there into the hole there and you tighten. All right, a little tighten there. Get a screw, place it here. You tighten it as well. And there you have it. Last thing to do, you put your face plate on. There's a screw provider for that as well. You screw it in. And there you go. All right. And that's it for today. Thank you for looking. I hope this has been helpful to you. And until next time, see you around.